Hi all folks, this is Max from Xenomax.com. So today I'm going to show you how to install another ROM on your Droid 2. First you'll have to have your phone Droid 2 rooted. It's very easy. There's one click uh, files you can use for Windows, uh, Mac and Linux. And uh, second you'll need a Droid 2 bootstrapper. Um, you can either pay for it. Uh, well, now it's asking allow. Um, it's, you can either pay for it or you can find it on the market. On the market, you gotta pay for it, but you can find the free version. Uh, this is what I got on off the internet. Just download the APK file and install it, and start that up, and then hit Bootstrap Recovery, and then if it hits success, you're fine. All right, and then go back and uh, open up ROM Manager. This is also this one you can download free on the uh, market. All right, so you need two apps to make it work. And then uh, make sure you flash your clock mod recovery. So do that. You just have to do it once. I already did it, but I'm gonna just do it again just to show you. And then it's gonna ask you for which uh, phone model. So like the Droid 2. Okay, and that should be done. Okay. And then uh, we can uh, we can reboot into recovery. And it should reboot and into uh, the clockwork recovery. So I'll be back once it reboots into that. So once you've uh, booted into the recovery, your phone should reboot into this. Um, go to Wipe Data Factory Reset and hit the camera button. And make sure you back it up. You can go to a backup and back it up if you want to have a backup of your current stock ROM. But I'm not going to bother, it takes too long and then hit yes and camera button okay, now I'm wiping all the current system All right, and then go back to uh, install zip from SD card and hit the camera button and then uh, choose zip from SD card and hit the camera button and then I'm gonna go find the D2 gummy jar dash 2.5 dot zip that I put on my SD card earlier hit the uh, camera button and then hit yes camera button and that's pretty much it it's gonna install the new ROM reboot and uh, we should have the new ROM so I'm just gonna let this go and I'll be back uh, when it's done and we'll reboot it and see the new ROM so I'll see you later so now it's complete um, All right. Now we're gonna go back. Uh, what's the back button? Okay, I don't know how to reset this now. <laughs> oh, there we go. You hit the power button to go back. And then reboot system now. Hit the camera button. There we go. Now we should see a new ROM. The, uh, what's that called? Um, gummy jar ROM. So hopefully this will be very chewy. I'm just updating my ROM because I'm gonna go to CES and my uh, I just wanna have a different ROM. I don't know. When I travel, I always update my phone with new ROMs. Makes me happy. So it's updating. There's a bunch of different ROMs for Droid 2, and this works uh, on the Droid X also. It's basically the same uh, steps, uh, and also the Motorola Milestone. Um, they should have the uh, what is that? the HTC Thunderbolt which is coming out soon which is supposed to have uh, uh, well I hoped it, it would have a dual core processor but it's only gonna have a uh, 800 megahertz processor like the G2 phone oh there you go so I got the gummy jar gummy jar it looks like a bunch of gummy Android uh, icons cool uh, gummy jar ROM so should start booting the first time it should uh, boot, boot. Uh, it should take real a long time because that's the way it is on all ROMs. But you know, the second, third time, it should get faster and faster. So I'll be back after this. You know, boots up completely. Go have a smoke. I'll be back. So I've got the new uh, what is it called? Gummy bear, gummy jar, gummy. Uh, what is this called? Gummy jar uh, ROMs. Sorry. 
um, you, as you can see, you got the stock vanilla ROM, the Android, which I like. So first thing, let's go test out uh, Wi-Fi Tether. We'll go download uh, Android Wi-Fi Tether. So let me do this. Um, go search for Android Wi-Fi Tether, and uh, make sure we have free tethering in the works. And it's syncing my Gmail right now. That's why it's a little bit slow. And let's go download uh, Android Wi-Fi Tether. And a lot of people ask me why you need to root your phone. The main reason I root my phone is because I want to have. Uh, just go to hit, click any download here. The reason is I want free Wi-Fi tether, so you know when I'm traveling, I can use my phone as a, a you know free 3G modem. So let's just download the latest one, 2.0.2, and click on that. Hello. Oh, it's downloading. Sorry. And when that downloads, just open it. Come on. Come on, 3G. Now I download two of them. Just click on one. Um, oops. Go to settings. Uh, unknown sources. Yes. Okay. Go back. Go click on that again and then install and it will probably ask you for super user permission when you open it to say ok All right. oh maybe it doesn't start tethering yeah there you go super user request allow and it's tethering and uh... let me go test it out real quick see if the tether works oh, I'm on the uh... The Droid 2 Tether. So let me see. Let's do a quick speed test. Should get about one megabits per second download and about half of that upload for Verizon 3G. You know, I'm so excited for Verizon 4G LTE with the HTC Thunderbolt coming out. It's going to be a great phone to tether, basically. So I'm going to get it and root it and tether it. Use it all the time. Compare it with my Sprint HTC Evo. People are saying it's faster, but I don't know. Well, it's preparing still. A little bit slow here. Okay. Anyway, I think it's uh, my phone's uh, a little bit slow right now because it's trying to sync the Gmail because I just installed the new ROM. Um, that's how you install the ROM and make sure you install the Wi-Fi tether and you're good to go. So, see y'all later. Subscribe.